All right, now it's a sport that's as exhilarating as it is dangerous. Beyond the countless boda bodas on Kenyan roads, you wouldn't find many riding a motorbike for leisure or general commute. But it is a trend that is slowly growing, and a group of ladies called the Throttle Queens are trying to get more women riding. We caught up with these literal trailblazing women, and here's their story on tonight's Her Say. The rallying call of the Throttle Queens. Six lady bikers who connected on their passion to ride. Riding gives you confidence, it makes you fearless, um, it makes you disciplined. There are a lot of benefits that we get from riding every day. It's not just about being on a bike, it teaches you how to focus. Victoria started the riding club two years ago to connect other like-minded lady bikers, but they don't just ride for fun. In April this year, the Throttle Queens made the roughly 1,200-kilometer ride to Rwanda's capital, Kigali, to raise awareness on road safety. Every life counts. Um, behind these helmets is mothers, is directors, is businesswomen, is professionals, um, as well as with even Boda Bodas, it's a father. It's people who are trying to make a living. So it can we respect each other on the roads? So what is it really like riding on Kenyan roads? People get very surprised, pleasantly surprised. And um, they move, sometimes they'll even back up. But there are those who don't care. They're like, why are you moving while I'm stuck in this traffic? And they'll block you. But you still find your way out. And we're not confrontational. You cannot afford to be confrontational on a bike because you have so much more to lose than they do. Beyond having to mind motorists, inanimate objects prove to be just as hazardous for riders. In Kenya, we need to mark our roads. Uh, we need to mark our bumps. Our bumps need to be standard. So bumps are this, that they're, they're just odd. And then they're not marked. In Uganda, the bumps are marked and the roads are marked side to side and in the middle, everywhere. And the bumps are standard. You're not expecting you go through a bump that is, you know, two feet high. And then another one that is, they're well done. In Kigali as well, the zebra crossings, they're red and white. And the roads are just clear. The Throttle Queens hope to spread their riding gospel across the continent with plans to ride to South Africa and back very soon. So we hope uh, to see more women ride. To see what, we hope to see what more women get out of their shells, um, make bolder decisions. And not just Kenyan women, but also African women. In Rwanda, there is no female uh, who rides. So we hope to see more women in Africa taking up the sport of riding. 